so scared. What's up, YouTube? Today we are going to work on Project Living Dead Girl. I've got some awesome parts here from a couple of new sponsors that I'm super excited to introduce. So today we are focusing on rebuilding those that front suspension, uh, getting all the new bushings and stuff like that in. Uh, so that includes dropped uprights from the awesome guys at Batman Fab. That'll allow us to lay frame in the front without modifying the control arms. As long as all my math worked out good. <laughs> Here's our old spindle and upright and the new one from Fat Man Fab. This is, uh, this is beefy. So you can see the, uh, the difference. It's gonna take that spindle, lift it up about two inches. That should give us about a two inch drop. Probably a little more with the geometry of the suspension. Super excited about these. This is something that uh, when I bought the Buick forever ago, this was on the list of parts that I wanted to have. Uh, reached out to the guys at uh, Fat Man Fab there and they're like, hell yeah, let's be a part of it. Let's do it. And then uh, we also got a full front end rebuild kit from BOP Parts, uh, Buick Oldsmobile Pontiac Parts, which, which is a caddy daddy company. So check them out for these uh, these odd cards like the Oldsmobile and the Buick. Uh, they've got tons of parts available on there, including some new old stock parts, some really hard to find stuff. Uh, also, uh, reach out to them, call them, message them. Uh, they're a small company and a lot of their inventory is not on their website. So if you reach out to them and ask them, hey, do you have whatever? They've probably got it or can get their hands on it for you. They've been doing that stuff for a long time. Okay, so I've got all of the parts divvied up. I went through all my old pictures. Very important when you're disassembling stuff, make sure you take lots of pictures. I probably could have taken more. <laughs> Figured out what side each stuff goes to. So this is passenger side and this is driver's side. Um, I'm going to do one side at a time. No point in showing you both sides either. So uh, I will just do the one side first. A lot of these components from the rebuild kit, they can go either way. I have examined them thoroughly and this one can go on the passenger side or the driver's side. Doesn't really matter. Also the upper arms uh, seem to be identical either way. So you can see here this right there, which makes sense because of the parts that are there. Uh, the parts from the rebuild kit, the bushings and stuff. Um, so. That can go either way. The uprights, um, they were identical for both sides. Uh, the only parts that weren't identical were the spindles. And the only difference that I can really see, but don't quote me on it, there might be other differences, uh, is the location of the grease nipple. Yeah, went ahead and figured out which one was on which side uh, through my pictures. 
and organize them that way. Other than that, they are identical. Now the Fat Man Fab ones, they are mirror images of each other, unlike the stock uprights, which totally fine. Um, should work really good. Now I am going to paint my upper and lower arms. Don't know if I should paint these or not. These I'm going to leave, obviously. Like, I'm not going to worry about that. This might be a good time to try out Poppy's patina chassis armor. So we're going to work on getting this kingpin out of here, which will be a bit of a chore, uh, especially with my superior lack of tools. Don't have a punch, so a screwdriver is going to be. Son of a gun. guys here's where we're at so trying to pull these kingpins out so uh we can get the spindles um <laughs> i did try to see if i could get a whole new set of spindles um but they are not out there so um i might get a hold of bop parts and see what it costs to get a new set because if anyone can track them down it's probably them but i also have a feeling that it's fairly expensive. So 
use what I got. Let's not spend a bunch of money. Um, but uh, I started trying to drill out this key in here because everything else I did <laughs> uh, just wasn't working. So I tried drilling it out. Uh, none of my bits are sharp enough. They're like, I don't know, 10 years old, if not older. Oh, yeah, they're really old. Anyways, uh, I don't think any of them are sharp enough to get through this. I could only get about that far. You can see. Yeah, I could only get about that far. Um, so it will happen. But super excited to get those together. And then you can see these all painted up and looking good. Um, I even painted up the... Uh, Look at that, that beautiful coating from Poppy's Patina. Came out really, really nice on there. Don't forget if you haven't picked up your copy of Cruise Culture Magazine issue number four for February, go ahead and do that. April's coming out soon. I got new drill bits, you know, nice titanium, all that stuff. I still, just, I can't get through it. It's impossible. So. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get the, uh, cutting wheel out <laughs> and we're just going to cut through this piece. Like that's the piece that I'm replacing with Fat Man Fab. So, um, yeah, I just have to be careful not to damage this piece. Kingpin, whatever I can cut through it, it doesn't matter. This piece I can cut through it, doesn't matter, sucks, but I can cut through it. And then hopefully I can free up this piece to use. Hopefully I can free up the spindle to use on the rest of it. Um, I did go over to this one and uh, I drove out that wedge pin like easy peasy. Punch and a hammer and it came right out. Let's see if I even got it over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. So that's what it looks like. Oop. That's what it looks like there. It came out so freaking easy. Um, but what can you do? This one is obviously just stuck. So, um, yeah. We'll get out the cutting wheel. there she finally came out <laughs> oh my goodness was that ever a huge pain in the ass now hopefully that kingpin's not stuck in there Oh, went the cap. Oh, she's coming. <sighs> there she be. See that little recess right there that's where that wedge key slides into boom there we go <laughs> and the piece we were trying to save it is saved <laughs> Thank goodness. Holy shit. What a pain in the ass that was. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to call this one. Uh, running out of time. Yeah, this one's almost apart. We got this other one apart. Uh, so next time I'll be able to just quickly <laughs> 
get that kingpin out of there. And then, uh, then we can go ahead and start assembling with all our new bushings. Uh, tell me what you think about kingpins down below. Again, as always, thanks for watching and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get more updates on Project Living Dead Girl. Uh, <laughs> and uh, keep cruise culture alive. I've been in your world.